So we hit up LRG, so now we're gonna swim by LRG and get hip hop geared up for yeah. Flight of the Concords. Nice, alright, all right. see that's why you're asking me if I rock hip hop gear. Exactly, because we're gonna go get some ish. Clearly I don't, I mean I rock boat shoes. Yeah, that is really extra. By the way, be boat honest. Shoes, v-necks. Be honest, did you always rock the rolled up jeans with, uh, the, with the boat shoes? What, ever since I started rocking boat shoes, yes. Like, um, I don't know, I've always kind of cuffed my jeans. And I just hate when it turns into like a fashion statement. I'm just like, yo, I'm just trying to show some ankle. Just trying to. Ankle. Well, the ladies love that. Ankles shit. are the sexiest part of the body. Ladies you know? love that like, shit. Yeah. You know, that's why there's such thing as cankles. But yo, <laughs> no, but you likes, don't. No, nobody likes ugly, ugly ankles. No, it's disgusting. You know what I mean? But what do you? How do you feel about collar popping? No, that's a no go. Won't do it. No, that's can't a do it. Unless the funny thing is, everybody went through a phase. I'm sure you've popped your collar before. I popped my collar before. Everyone's popped their collar before, but there comes to a point where you have to like, all right, am I really going to be a collar popper? Because you have to decide when you put uh, on the exactly. shirt. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I took myself out of the collar popping game. Uh, you know, once once I you know decided to really do this and take myself seriously. <laughs> the other day, we had, I went to watch football at, at a bar in, in the city, and I saw more than one person there to watch football with. Plaid pants, plaid shorts are very in right now. Yeah. Rocking the plaid shorts mm -hmm. with the a pink or or very close to pink yeah. collar pops. Yeah. Like mm. the salmon, the salmon, salmon. Colors, yeah. Sa which I used to do. Yeah, there was a minute when I did it. I now admit, I'll be the first to admit that I definitely there will be several stories of people like yeah I met Asher with a with a popped collar. One of my best friends met me when I popped collar. But there comes a time in your life. When you must ask yourself, will I be a collar popper or will I not? Who be are you popper? riding with? And I am on the non-popped collar team. Me too. And that's not to say I have arguments with people about this sometimes. Sometimes it gets me mad that the douchebags got to take collar popping because sometimes yeah. not popping your collar looks a little dull. Like yeah, you look in the mirror and you're like, exactly. oh, I look frumpy. Like, but they told that those those kids with you know. The, the spiky hair and the, the gelled hair and they stole the pop collar popping and it's made over. it unacceptable. It's so unacceptable. Make a decision. In or out. I don't normally wear stuff like this. This is pretty hip hop for you, Asher. This is pretty hip hop for me, man. But they found a medium, so yeah, like, I think they that's, found some mediums. That's what I'm more excited about is the fact that they're actually mediums and it's not all large as Well, and eventually you'll get to a point where when, when you walk into LRG or anywhere else, they'll oh, be like, I'll be a point where they'll be custom made, custom made, customs like Ric Flair, yeah. Mike Rick the Flair. Mike the facilitator. Facilitator. It really is like Christmas. This is a good. This is this is the stuff I should. This is the stuff I shouldn't even show. Yo, you wish you had this shirt. Yo, what'd you what'd you come up on? Yo, oh, Chuck, Chuck got me some hot shit. Oh, what'd you come up on? Uh, some some clean. Oh, oh well, well, that one's hot. hot. That shit's cool. That shit's cool. Oh, look at that, John. Is that a weed shirt? That is just straight like weed and giraffe with a grill. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> This is just us hanging out for real. This is just how we get down. I've known I've known Peter now for about what three three days now. I don't know. We've been we've been having we're uh, new, pretty deep text relationship. We're new friends. We're new friends. We're new friends. So I'm sitting here and I'm eating wings and, and I've like come up with the perfect the two people that my man is the offspring of, and you are the offspring. Oh, uh, Kevin, the dude from King of Queens. What's his name? What's his name? Kevin. Um, Kevin some. Kevin. What? He was in. He was in Hitch with Will Smith. And anyway, him and Ari Gold, <laughs> the Offspring. Tell me. Look at him. Check him out. The Offspring. What? Kevin from King of Queens. The dude, the fat guy from King of Queens. And Ari Gold. All right, bang. That's pretty good. Bang. Ari Gold is. I get Ari Gold a lot, but he's way thinner than me, so I, I think yes. it is a huge compliment. Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't bad. I'm not a bad at all. Oh, got my bag, and I've got my bag. I've got both my bags with me. That's the random song and dance like, from Asher Roth today. Schmedium, uh, schmedium I'm shirts. in New York, so that was kind of like my Broadway. Put a schmedium shirt remix on that. You got a hit. Yo, it's all about schmediums. You know what I mean? Like. The question um, is truly is what is an extra? All right, you ready? Does it look like I'm on Xbox and like you gotta cre create me? You know what I mean? Like I'm the character, like and and build a rapper. You're actually you actually look more like um what's the kid's name in Tights and Punch Out? <laughs> Mac. You're Mac. You know Mac. Little Mac? Is it Little in, Mac? In Mike Tyson Punch Out. I like so you know this is just me. 